Okay. Tell me your name and tell me why you're here. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm one of the. Uh, I'm a member of MedAct and I'm a junior doctor, and I'm here to um, show solidarity to my colleagues in war zones in Syria, in Yemen, in Afghanistan, in Iraq in the Central um, African Republic, everywhere in the world. Um, there's uh, doctors, nurses, uh, volunteers um, who are coming under fire only because they are helping out other human beings who are under fire. So I've come here to show the least I can, which is solidarity to them. Um, what we should be actually asking for is for the international community to intervene and stop those attacks. But the very, very least that we can do as doctors and nurses and healthcare workers in this country is show solidarity with them, is tell them that their voices, their screams are hurt, that we are aching for what they're going through, and we feel so helpless that we cannot intervene. But actually, I am here to actually tell you that we can intervene as an international community can intervene by pushing, putting pressure on the UK government, uh, firstly to stop selling arms to Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia has been implicated in war crimes in Yemen. That is not that is not um, uh, that is not uh, uh, that is not rumours. That's something MSF has said. They have been implicated in the bombing of at least three healthcare facilities in Yemen, and yet Saudi Arabia is the biggest importer of arms from the UK. They, we have sold them 2.8 billion worth of arms during this conflict and yet no one talks about that. So the UK is directly now in, uh, implicated in this conflict and secondly Syria. There's complete disregard for the international humanitarian law in Syria where, bo where bombs are falling, hospitals and, 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 and ambulances with impunity and no one is talking about it and it's coming from Assad, it's coming from Russia, it's coming from from um, from every uh, from from other uh, parties that are not in the news, it's not ISIS that are bombing these these uh, healthcare facilities. It's Assad and, and his allies. We know that more than 90% of those bombs that fall on civilians come from that regime, and yet we are not talking about that. So we're here to put pressure on the UK government, and we are here to show solidarity to our um, colleagues.